Benton Harbor area schools are considering a request for a $52 million bond to consolidate elementary schools. And today, members of the school board heard more about that project. News Center 16, Sean Gallagher joins me now. And Sean, a lot of the members of this community are hung up on this $52 million price tag. Does the school board think it's worth it? Yeah, absolutely. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't come with an investment. I mean, it, the investment does come with its benefits. Benton Harbor hasn't had a new school built since the 50s, and it's had an impact. This is a heavy monetary investment. It's also an investment into the future of the city, which is why the board wanted to learn more about it. It's early Saturday morning, and while school isn't in session, some are hard at work for the betterment of Benton Harbor area schools, something that could impact these schools for the next half century. Our children haven't had an investment made in education in 50 years. And there hasn't been a new school constructed in the city since the 1950s, but with the help of a nearly $52 million bond, this could help thrust the school into the 21st century and help the community. I think we can increase our graduation rate. I think we can decrease our dropout rate. I think we can increase our test scores. The citizens and the residents will have an opportunity to change the entire landscape of what Benton Harbor Area Schools looks like in the 21st century uh, from a technology standpoint, from an infrastructure standpoint, from a achievement standpoint. However, there are still questions. Community members are a bit intimidated by the size of the bond request, which could cost residents hundreds of dollars a year, but some think this is a way to pay it forward. Well, the greatest investment that this community could make is in our youth which is our future. So this issue, this bond question, will give generations into the future the same opportunity that we were afforded, and I think we owe them that. The board will vote whether this bond will reach the ballot in the spring, and their vote will take place on February 10th. There will be at least one, maybe two opportunities for the community to weigh in, but Tricia, these dates yet to be decided. So, Sean, what's the benefit of consolidating these elementary schools? Well, it's really going to make everything more efficient. Before, they would have four bills to pay for electric, gas, things like that. That's going to be consolidated now into one, and it could save them somewhere in the range of $2 million a year, so that's really big. All right, thanks a lot, Sean.